Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Um, but that was kind of the easy part, to be honest. Were you going to put it on the script, like a scribbit thing? Um, it was, it's it's meant to go on the website. Uh, <clears throat> okay. That's, that's where you don't have to download it. Okay. It's, you can actually just be on there. Just link to it or? It, it, it doesn't, it just, it's there. It actually exists there. You can just look at pages. Okay. <clears throat> that's how we do it. Sure. And we also will have, you can also download it too. Okay. Oh, nice. <clears throat> yeah. Well, thank you. And I'm sorry that I had more time, but my schedule just went around. No, I think it actually worked out well for me just to do the first one so I could learn the process. Um, and that way I can. Without anybody being. Have that right. on. Well, no, but just. Well, no, but in the way. To work at me. Extra opinions. Extra opinions. And extra know. comments. Yeah. Um, so, but that really was the easy part. I think the harder part will be making it ADA accessible and, and getting on the website. But oh, okay. we'll go through that and then we'll oh. do the rest of the end. So. I'm very excited. Yeah. Yeah. So are you going to set a schedule or? Yeah, I think, um, well, my plan was to go through the process of getting this one completely done. this all the way through the and, process. Yeah, so we know what that looks like and then, and then pass that on to you all to mm -hmm. do the rest. So maybe set a schedule <laughs> next week. Yeah, um, I think once I get figure out this, the, pro the rest of the process for this one, and then we can set up a schedule to have you all do the scanning. So it's not a big rush of pieces. Yeah. So yeah. No, yeah, no, but we started the process. This is yeah, yes, it is. And it looks, huge. it looks good, and, um, and it's nice to get <coughs> it actually works too. You have to turn and it's yeah. really like Ben's suggestion to being able to just pull it up and look at it. As yeah. It down <coughs> it be easier, not yeah. so much paper and stuff. So. People will do that. Yeah. As yeah. we do the books, are we going to consider submitting Music albums to be stored in the library. I mean, in the um, archives. Archives. Yeah, I think. Mean, <clears throat> yeah, I kind of um, initiated that we were interested in that with Elizabeth, um, who's the new director of history there. Mm -hmm. So I think that's definitely something we continue to look into and see what's appropriate for them to keep there and the piece of place for us to be here. Yes. So. Do you know what we already have archived? I, I don't. I know there are items there, but I know it's in there. Yeah, yeah. 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 That's part of the story in here. Yeah. Well, yeah. We have, there are a lot of photos that are in archives. Um, there are a lot some of, of the ones in the archives. Copies of those. In the archive. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, and and it's the case has, things we've created um, um, online. Content? No, no, it's <clears throat> rather well. There are some um, negatives in the archives, and then for um, photos that there are not negatives, they are electronically scanned in. And so those are in the private black file as well. So, um, like the picture of Main Street where um, the Golden Mill store was, that's scanned in, and that's in, um, electronically in there. Um, but um, there's some. My question, I guess, is are those things that Eric archived regarding Callahan Chaos, or are those things that the Callahan board gave to them to archive? I think, it's I, a mixture think we did. Both. I think it's a mixture of both. Um, because there are, yes, there are things that's clear that it came from someone from Callahan, from the board. Okay. Um, and then there are that. others that are. A lot of the source material for the scrapbooks, the actual originals, are going to be in archives. And some of the things in there are copies Not from the early years. Not necessarily the list of um, all of the guests from the very first open house. <coughs> the yeah. original is in the scrapbook. Photos, and, though. And the museum and does not have that. articles. But um, most. Mm -hmm. Not all. Yeah. 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 So, okay. Okay. So, um, but do we have to start with some, uh, you know, applying to submit to archive these items into the? Um, I'm not sure about the process, but yeah, Elizabeth know. is the one that you know connected us to this and whatnot. So yeah. she's certainly aware of the project. Yeah, you might want to just double check on it. But from my, the process, as I understand it to be, from what Eric explained it to me, is that we would submit. Um, it's a it's a form. We then they. Standard 
um, that uh, says what the items are, mm -hmm. and that then gets put um, before the museum board, and they okay. determine, along with the help of the curator, um, what if any of that content's already in the archives, and then what that's remaining, if any of it, they think is important enough to, that it should be archived. Okay. Sure. So they kind of make that determination. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. Okay. Any other questions on this digital scrapbook? Okay, we will move on to the Boundary Day program. Uh, would you like to report on that? This is very bad. Okay. I hope you really enjoyed it. Um, Maureen dressed up, which was oh, I'm so glad you did that. And um, yes, they all appreciated the all the content and lots of fun bugs afterward. And um, <coughs> you don't want to go off I did. I did put that out. Yeah, to, so, yeah. Yeah. As a, mm -hmm. yeah, something. For they did a very to nice job. I was going to tell you. Oh, good. Because yeah. I forgot to go. <laughs> I'm in the kitchen. I'm in the at ten fifteen. Go. Uh, oops. <laughs> um, You're looking job. for you. <laughs> and just a little side note about the, the ramifications of it. Um, it Deborah uh, Buchanan yeah. passed away. Debbie Stafford from almost Carolyn Stafford. They're having her she, memorial here. Yes, yeah. exactly. And the reason they're having a memorial here is because Lori Flanders who was instrumental in setting it up. Yeah. Was at PEO that morning. And 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 Deb grew up here and her mom was a PEO member and so on and so on. And it was like the light bulb went off in her head when this happened, when Deb passed exactly. away. Yeah. So yeah. 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 this is where the in place for sure. Well, I think they have their wedding reception here also. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Is she a member of the PEO staff? Yeah. Connection? She was. Okay. Deb, Deb, I don't Deb, believe yeah, Deb she was, was a member of our chapter. What, Debbie was? Mm -hmm. Oh, really? Okay. She was a non-member, no, no, non-resident member. Oh, I know Carolyn she, was, but I didn't know yeah, Debbie was. was. Okay. So, so. The only comment I, when I went to PEO Monday night and asked, oh, how, what did you guys think of the program? Because I wanted to hear from them. They loved it, but they said that a lot of times they couldn't hear. So oh. I don't know if it was a setup <laughs> from them. Microphones or what they say, it was tough to hear. Mm -hmm. And I did hear a, a, a request that maybe more pictures are included. Oh, oh. If, if they were interested in seeing more pictures. Well, then maybe well, that's to the I mean, I'd be interested to hear what pictures they're looking for because I, the pictures that were included were pretty comprehensive. I definitely could have added more. But um, hearing feedback is really good. Yeah, but, so that, yeah, really but trying to keep it to that 30 minute. Right, that's that tough. was like, okay, I need mean, to probably capture just mm -hmm. kind of the overall, mm -hmm. you know. And, 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 it, yeah. and I have to compliment Karen, so. did an amazing job in mm -hmm. all the history of it. And yes, and mm -hmm. why she sure knew her stuff. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. 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 So, good job, girls. Good job. Good job. Okay, on um, to the, up <clears throat> excuse me, the update. I, I, I'm oh, sorry, yes. before we move on, yes. Karen did take some pictures with um, EDK and some other things that oh, I think good. we should do. I'm sure you've got, you're going to add into to everything as the historian of the PEO. If, if we want that included in the scrapbook, yeah. we can. Um, I think that would, yeah, that's good. I think that's good. Acceptable. Is it something that's out we should do? That was the group? Yeah. Of the yes. group or? No, it just included um, PMB as, as a member there, EDK also as a member. I, I, I think it's important, so it's just and, and then it us. also shows our outreach into the community, and, exactly. and it's another tie-in for documentation. So I'm sorry to stop to interrupt. That's great. What is the process for, or what is, I guess, the thought for the process for updating the scrapbooks going forward? Do you do that like on an annual basis, or, or just as material is existing, or throughout the year, as the events are occurring, adding right. to it is yeah. ideal. It's the easiest yeah. way. Right. Yeah. Right. Right. Okay. And are you are you like ahead of committee for that or well, that's my that job as yeah, yeah. she's the historian. <laughs> right. yeah. so, so I mean, so it, I if anyone's interested mm -hmm. in helping, I'm 
all four. Yeah. You, in addition, you know, extra hands. Because yeah. The things like the Valentine's tea and right. things like that yeah. should be. In well, there. so I guess I'm just wondering, like, do you just reach out when you want to make updates, or like, what what works for you for okay. that process? Or? Well, if that is or we can talk more about it, but yeah, I was gonna say if that would work, I could do that. Just kind of do a touch base with everyone and say, oh, I am planning to do that's you got for update, and if you want to come and participate, and then we can meet at the house. And, yeah, okay. 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 Moving on. Sorry. I can see updated video. Um, so I don't have anything to review, but I do have an update at least. <laughs> so hopefully by next month there'll be like actually what's going to be going out to anybody that wants to, um, or anybody that we're going to ask for a quote from. Mm -hmm. So I went through the process with Pam Roding, um, who orchestrated some of this within the city. Um, and it's actually going to be fairly simple. Basically, we don't have to go through a full bidding process, but we do need to get three quotes still okay. um, from some other potentially interested parties. And basically, we just let them know here's you know here's what we want, um, and just as long as we provide the same information to everybody, it's a pretty simple process. So um, I don't know where we have that. Do we know when that's going to be released? I think it can be, I mean, we can, I can do that anytime as soon as I have the time, which now it's kind of right on the cusp of having that ready to go. I so. know that we were, re I was reached out, back out to, because one of the issues was um, I, my daughter, obviously, and, and, um, and, and her partner, and, um, business partner, um, and uh, is, they would, we're considering like working on videos on the interior, so we're, they're not impeding with wedding schedules and okay. stuff like that. Yeah, mm -hmm. that would be something if they're going to do it. If yeah. they're they're chosen, I that's one of those can, things that yeah, they're, yeah. yeah, have it ready to be you know <coughs> bring to the next board meeting and say yeah, this looks good. Okay. So yeah. they were asking me when, when when the date was, and I said yeah. I haven't heard anything. Well, tell them early March. Early yeah. March. Thank you. Yeah. So, so we can talk about that at the next meeting. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, any other questions about that? We'll move on to the item D club affair. A meeting tomorrow? We do have a meeting scheduled from 11 to 1, I believe. Was Refresh my memory. Why did we schedule it at 11? Initially, it's because I we were only have questers on that day, but we could actually move it forward because questers was last week. Oh. Okay. All right. So, so how does everyone feel about that? I, are we doing just the three of us? Well, I yeah. now chair because I canceled and that. Oh, okay. So it, it includes all of us then. All of us Basically. that are interested. That's, that's, yeah. 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 That's, that's what I thought. Yeah. Okay. I do have Bible so study from nine thirty to ten thirty. Okay. Oh, you do. Okay. So, so ten thirty is still change. I I can get here by. 30 okay. Okay. 10.30? 10.30. That'd be all right? Okay. Yeah. No? Oh, she's not going to be there. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. So, well, you, you can know. dodge out of something. I was going to say, how am I going to let it ask on this Exactly. Yeah. I think, but yeah. I think you should. Paul passed up. Okay. Number. So, we'll meet tomorrow? Yes. 10.30. 10.30 tomorrow. Yes. yes. And, um, <laughs> excuse me. So what I was going to suggest that we all come with in our heads is, um, first of all, clubs or organizations that we've thought about um, inviting, that we also come with out of the box thinking about how to use not just the house, but in August it should be nice outside. And the possibility exists that we could choose the outside exterior gardens and the carriage house. That expands our um, number of people that we can reach out to as far as clubs are concerned and groups are concerned. It doesn't have to be a club, so to speak, like the symphony orchestra. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, think in terms of what other groups could we uh, approach. And, and, and this is a twofold thing. We not only have to find 
groups that want to participate as a fundraiser, but then we have to find and get the public here to, to participate. Yeah. To so yeah, there's, there's a, a, <laughs> it's a two, it's a two, two wrong things two that we have to do. Yeah. So, so keep that in mind and kind of think out of, outside of the box. Think about what groups do we have? The symphony playing in the gardens. Can we have plein air painters out there painting? Can we have uh, dancing groups? Can we have theater companies? Um, what can we do? Okay. Okay. I think we had talked about, was it August 17th or something as a date? Um, and the reason I asked is because if it is going to be a larger event with public, you know, wanting to join the, um, well, I guess, does that fall right on the cusp of the brochure then? Might that go in the next brochure if the date is August 17th? Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, it comes up first week of August, which is perfect. Okay, so this would be for the next brochure, so we don't have to have it set for February 20th. Um, that would be pretty early, but you could do a saving date thing in there. Okay. Mm. okay. Well, that would be well, great. Let's do that just because. Well, it might depend on room, right? Because um, we have other things to right. exactly. what's there, going so. on. Right. Um, okay. Is yeah, that you date? stick with a saving date for it. Okay. okay. Is that so, date firm though, I guess, is the question. And it has and the <coughs> summer brochure that goes through July and where the save the date would go would be um I need it by like Friday. So, <laughs> well we do we have that today. date's not I, I, firm. we just haven't decided the time. Or I guess Tuesday, maybe by Tuesday. And but, it's not sure have any weddings or something that well, I mean, we would just keep that. Let's see. What so day is on Sunday, but not on Saturday. August 17th. <laughs> so that is a Saturday. Yeah. Um, but I mean, we just go to book a wedding and okay. we're going to book that date. But I think that was the date. I'm not sure if that was the date that we talked about. Are you worried that that might month? be an issue? Do we need to like back it up to the 16th of Friday? Um, I think let's do it on a day that feels like more people would attend. Mm -hmm. So maybe a Sunday. Saturday. Saturday is more likely. More likely Saturday. I think a Saturday is the best choice. And if they're just blocking that one Saturday off and not having weddings that day, it's understandable. Not to get married on right now. So. Okay. Room seven would work out. We would have those four. What's room seven again? Um, There's a quarterly recreation brochure. Sure. 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 Yeah. Okay. It's a quarterly City recreation. Um, it's, it's or seasonal. I mean, so, three times a year. Oh. The winter, spring, summer, and fall. Winter, spring, and fall. Okay. Oh, okay. And that's yeah. awesome that we can reach. Um, yeah, it is. Far reaching. Yeah. 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 So it would be it's going season. in the summer, but well, way, oh, but details, potentially details a, in the fall one. Yeah, a save the date in the summer one that talks about stuff through. Oh, I, don't know, I think it's August. good timing. With school starting and everybody going, I think that would be a great Saturday. If I think we, yes, I know we could lose um, revenue, but Saturday is the best time, and I, I honestly think it's a perfect day for the 17th. It just falls timing wise really well. Is this event something that potentially brings in revenue at the event itself, or just the potential of? We're hoping to, that it'll revenue. be revenue making. Right, it should be <laughs> revenue. Generated because they would have to pay for the booth. their booth, their okay. table, their space, whatever. Okay. So we'll have to it's also big set those prices. Price. Yeah. 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 Spending money to right. do that. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, yeah. So if we can have the, the date, well, typically it's like date time. Yeah, I guess just a date would be enough for, for a save the date. Yeah, I was going to say for the save the date, all you're doing is save the date. Yeah. The date. So August 17th at the Callahan House. Of a fair. So if that more details to come. It's yes. a firm date. I think we could potentially get a save the date in the summer brochure and then we'll have a bigger blurb on it in the next one. I'd like to know that we choose August 17th as a permanent, uh, not as permanent, but as the date for this this year's um, event for the Club Affair. Um, I think we may have already taken it. I think did we, we did. Do that? Mm -hmm. Didn't we? That's why it's in the minutes. That's that way. Is that for sure the date? That's why we were at a 
didn't we or we yeah, were we doing kind of I know we yes, didn't talk about it's it in a minute. So event will be held so August. Then, there it is. Yeah, yeah, never okay. mind. I I recall that I'll um, just take that right off the table if it's already yes, so. it is here. So we don't need to okay. do so this. I, I think it's for because sure. it, it hits everybody's um right as they're going out into the fall. It would hit the, the concerts or anything that people want to promote on their own. It's perfect. Okay. All right. What would be possible to also get a blurb in the um, city utility um, bill oh, yeah. picture that goes city out line. with the, the city line? City line? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, those are monthly. So, yeah. It's about two months in advance. That's our show. Okay. 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 Yeah. Cool. Okay. Yeah. Well, we can advertise it there. And the more people that see it, mm -hmm. exactly. on the calendar. Right. Okay. Uh, any other questions on public here? So yeah. we'll move on to annual report. Um, does anybody have anything to add or subtract or edit or <coughs> comment? Waiting on what the final numbers. Just the numbers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything is finalized. Yeah, so. If it was approved, then all I need to do is get Anna's signature. And, right. And it's really ready to go. One yeah. last thing I thought. Of that may be a good thing to include in an annual report is identification of um, the officers. Obviously, the chairperson is clear because that's the person who signs it. But for purposes of an annual report, you just identify, okay, here are the board members, and, and you can even just put it next to the name, um, you know, Candace Shy secretary. secretary, you know. Um, and I think it's a simple enough inclusion. It just and, and, happened in the, and it won't take another line even. You just slip it in right, that's right true. behind your name. So um, behind my chair. Mm -hmm. yeah. So Karen Cruz, historian, Candace Shy, secretary, and Thompson, um, chairperson. I think it would be appropriate. I agree. Anybody else have a comment? Do we need a motion? Let's just yeah. carry on. Let's do is that. that finalize other than that then? Yes. Do that. Yeah. And then, then um, and what is the, <laughs> uh, last year I know, or, or what is the process then for, um, I know that this gets submitted to be part of the council's. It's um, submitted and then hopefully you at some point, but. Pre presented over yeah. the city council. You all presented last year, right? Or somebody did? No. 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 But okay. it should be. Well, I think it's it's up to them. It's up to the yeah, council. They that in, otherwise it goes into their packet. Yeah. Right. Exactly. That's what happened with their packet. Yeah, we're just Okay. The, the, the whole point is to also, this brings attention to our board, and it also promotes us for anybody that's watching it, that people might want to participate in this board. And that, so it's a dual purpose of why we would want it before yeah. council. Yeah. It pushes the we could become more visible and they can ask questions. Yeah. It's important. I think it would be nice if council. Would and we can also that. pose questions to council. And they can they ask can questions of us. They can, they can ask questions of us. They, you know, yeah, that's exactly it. Oh, so I've never seen you can, uh, they can ask a question about us on the board. It's an interaction. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, anything else on the annual report? We'll move on to house inventory. That is kind of interesting. Yeah, I think it's really interesting. It's kind of fun. <laughs> I think it's interesting and fun. Yeah, well, thank you all very much for participating in that. Um, I think the idea was to set another date. If that's do we not to... have one already set on the next for next Monday, or was that tentative? I don't think we set anything. So. We did. I think we talked to us any date at this meeting for to finish that up. <clears throat> this and Betsy and Jacqueline were also working on some of it last week with you know Butler's Pantry and the linens and things like that that they have familiarity with that are right. a little more intensive. Right. Well, <laughs> I, I obviously jumped ahead in my participation. Sorry. It's not in the <laughs> yeah, I don't. I think we were going to set one today. Okay. Okay. So. Is there a suggestion for what date works best for you? Um, well, Wednesdays we have clubs in house, so probably not a Wednesday, um, unless I, if there's a fifth Wednesday in the month, we don't. But um, I 
otherwise I'll just look at the calendar, but Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday is typically more open. Um, I mean, do we want to look as soon as possible, or? I think we should just to get it. Get some print. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Get it off the There we go. Um, so next week, we're out on Monday. Oh, yeah, because we're over here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I don't have the clubs that we're all hanging out. So. And Tuesday, we have clubs. Yeah. So Tuesday, Wednesday, we have clubs. Thursday. Thursday, there's potential. Friday is pre open. 22nd or 23rd. Or we can look to the next week. I could do the 22nd. Yeah, maybe even by around 10 30 it should be. That's good. Yeah. yeah. I've had all week with the night shift. Okay. <clears throat> I could do the 26th. You mentioned that already. The 22nd? 26th. 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 26th is a Monday. It's a Monday. Okay. That makes fun. I could do that. Yeah. Yeah, that would be good. That's fine. You can do that? 26th. I'm time. available up until. 10, 10.30 on Mondays. I think my week should be starting. You're, you're available before 10.30? So yeah. if you want to start at 9? We could start before 9, but 8.30? Oh, I can't do 8.30. Oh, I've got, I've got, no, I've got a, I've got physical. I think 9 is fine, and if that doesn't work for you, send me the, yeah, I think okay. 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 I mean, we appreciate the help, but yeah. it's not, okay. it's certainly not yeah. mandatory, so I would, Nine a.m. February twenty sixth, which is a Monday. Mm -hmm. Nine a.m. <clears throat> okay, thank you. All right. I have a question regarding Phoebe Case' mom's insurance mm -hmm. plan. I guess was it found? I think they were found, but specifically, I asked her. I took a picture of the um, art that's in the manager's office, yeah, and she said that's not it. She said it's a smaller. Print. Uh, it's a painting, but mm -hmm. um, and it's she she did this. So sizing that we're looking for is something like this. Mm -hmm. um, Six and inches. I'll, I'll follow up with her and ask her. If she happens to have like an accidental photo or like it's sitting in the back of you know whatever yeah. in the background of it, if they ever got a picture of it. I had while it was in the box. Oh. Additional storage spaces also. I mean you know prior to this and hadn't found anything, but. Is there any chance to go packing in with the Christmas stuff at some point? I I mean all the Christmas stuff just got brought out. I had it's looked been before out. Christmas and around for it, so okay. nice. it's kind of empty. It's just not it's kind of flat there. Something will walk off. Okay. At yeah. some point cups and, <clears throat> and the other things were put away. But why would a photo on I, I, it's not a photo. It's a it's a picture. It, it, oh, it, it might not have been being used. Um, mm -hmm. So they said it is or what it is. Yeah, and we don't need it. And so it was. Would it be an archive item? Do you know? We could look. Uh, That's a good we could look back through the scrapbooks and see that. if we see. <laughs> From talking to um, when we had the manager's team, um, um, I was discussing with um, Leslie Boynton, and it used to hang on the wall right up above the stairs, right outside mm -hmm. the office. Mm -hmm. So maybe we could look in pictures, maybe in that area to see if we could find it. Yeah, it could be worth looking, but. Because when I talked to Leslie Boynton, she knew exactly what where, I was talking about. Where it was. Exactly. And where it was. But where she's describing it, it was this, um, what was there and it was most really recently prior was to the artwork that was moved into the office manager's house. And um, I don't know. So between now and then, maybe I can, I'll check back in with Nancy and see if she okay. has this record. Maybe. 
and again, she might be difference. referencing a different a different painting. But I said the I said who it was donated by. I said who it was painted by, and she made this. She she recalled in her mind that's where it was, and she was very very specific. Yeah. And if you've ever met or was that she's she's really pretty on top of stuff. Yeah. So. Was EDK the one that donated it? It was her mother's. It was the family. Yes, EDK. That's and and, how, and they, what is that? E D I E D I E D Y. Two two words. E D I E. Yeah. Well, E D Y and hyphen K A Y. It's a Y. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a Y. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it's a y. <coughs> well, D Y and hyphen K A Y. Yes. E A. Okay. It's okay. Well, you wanted to make sure what we're saying. <laughs> so she's not Eddie. Yeah, not Eddie. Eddie. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly. Okay, let's move on to the piano search. I'm interested to hear where we are with this. Well, I don't. Well, basically, update from the last one that you've seen, which was the Col Columbine. 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 Yeah, right? Columbine. Um, that was built Brand. in Denver. That yeah. Cindy and Roy and I went to go see is. Um, we reached out to Fred Goheen, who is our like piano expert that um, helped with the restoration of and, and now maintains the Steinway, um, to just get his opinion on the whole thing. And his, okay. uh, his opinion on that one specifically, uh, which we also kind of shared, is that it, the wood wasn't really properly maintained. It was a little bit dried out. Mm -hmm. Well, actually, a lot of it dried yeah. out. Mm -hmm. um, and what we really wanted to look for was one that has already been restored. Yeah. So he is in the business of that and is searching for one for us. So he's also continuing to look. Um, so if, if that was a like concern when I was pointing out the crackling of the, of the varnish and some yeah. other things. Um, on that note, his son Matt is actually going to come tune my piano. So, um, <laughs> so, so I think that's one of those things that um, I'm concerned about. The other question is, why is it would we not move Alice's piano back? Oh my gosh, you know, no, you, you don't just have to move the Steinway. I know, you know, I know. I, we I wouldn't, don't, I don't. The question is do we need another piano or do we put Alice's piano back where yeah. it was? Why was it wouldn't it be easier to get to one? You know, moved they they pay, pay for it to be moved more, into the house to use for more, more about that. Bigger events or, and stuff and recitals and stuff upstairs. Have we had that's my understanding. I wasn't here when that one was moved, but that's oh. from my research. That's the, that was the reason. Yeah. Right. So, so it was a pretty severe re you know, reason. They were like, okay, we got to move it upstairs. Wow. So there were pianists that taught lessons here in Monmouth and their recitals were always upstairs. Yeah. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. Well, that that's another thing. Speaking of which, I just I had a professional um, pianist um, that just did a concert for our um, Questers group, and amazing. I mean, that's another thing that we could reach out for possibly getting people in there for if they need usage. But side note, um, I wasn't just I wasn't sure why it was moved originally, and if we're looking to replace it for the music room, why wouldn't we have it here? I, mean, I just didn't I didn't understand the, the logic of why it was moved in the first place. That was it. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, yeah, we don't necessarily need a second piano. They're not being used that regularly. My thought about it is, you know, the music room should have a musical instrument of some kind, whether that's the start <laughs> yeah. or something else, <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. and to, in general, look for pieces, the furniture and whatnot for the house that are period appropriate. Mm -hmm. um, and it could also be something that could be played um, if we have someone playing, you know, classical music yeah. or something. So they, have, that. they do get used some, not <laughs> on a very regular basis, but... So, um, I, mean, it has been, I mean, like, background music. Yeah, yeah. then it comes down to, do we need two pianos, or do we consider just moving Alice's piano back to the music room? 
My gut tells me that, that would not be worth it. No, I agree. Right. Right. The logistics of trying to get that moved. And then it would have to it would be probably cost again. cost more. Cost us more than us than getting, getting a piano. Another piano. Okay. Because getting that from up there down to here, I don't, yeah. I don't even know what it would take. I mean, but it would. I think. I think. I mean, just my gut tells me that that it would be easier for us to just be patient and keep looking. Mm -hmm. yeah. And Fred did feel like, that if we would be able to find something that we're looking for, if we aren't in any rush, which we're not. No. Um, there's still I, I, I just this was rolling around out. about the whole idea in my head of okay, if we already have one, I don't know many places need two pianos. That's my only thought process. Yeah, it's not slightly not wrong. We're, we're set out that we set out to look for one. It just mm -hmm. kind of it came about to us. Yeah. Yeah. It it okay. Well. Yeah. 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 So I think the biggest thing that we needed to identify is if something that popped up seemed right was the dimensions, which I think we've identified, right? The dimensions are um, what, two feet deep, six feet wide, and five feet high. So as long as we know that and know the period that we're looking for and we know you know the quality that we're looking for then it's just a matter of waiting we're not really in a hurry yeah. you know mm -hmm. it's just you know something pops up and it's ideal and perfect then it's like all right and yeah. it's really nice to have Fred on the lookout yeah um, he's looking on the line too yeah. Yeah. yeah he can yeah. save us a lot of trouble yeah. right yeah. I mean there's no hurry yeah. Brittany would you um, Send me Fred's information. Sure, please. Mm -hmm. He's no, Fred himself is, is retired and he will look after our piano, but Matt is the one that's not. Oh, okay. But also, you need company information. That's exactly what it's like. Don't worry. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, it is worth you know, bringing that up, Maureen. Like, no, we don't necessarily need two pianos. The thought is to have items in the house that are period appropriate. Um, have music in the music room but and you know there are a lot of pianos out there they're a lot of them for free we may have trouble finding somebody that's interested in taking this one out and, and paying to move it out yeah so that's a consideration also is if we're going to pay to move a restored one in and we can't find somebody to take this one we might be paying to yeah. move it out to be yeah. donated if anybody wants it as a donation so yeah. Yeah, it's another consideration Something to think about, but for just mm -hmm. moving it out, if we get to that point, we might want to check. Call one eight hundred Got Junk. They move and take everything. Mm -hmm. So I don't know what they would charge to do that. Yeah, yeah they they are very careful, uh, so that we don't need that. Well, that's really good, and it's actually it's a something conversation. It's okay. just I it came to mind, and I'm thinking. Yeah, we already have a three piece head. You, you know, I have been looking at the picture and saying, oh, wouldn't it be nice if we had one that looks like this when we have the one upstairs? Yeah. So it was just a thought process, and I appreciate the input on it. Uh, again, um, yeah. Well, potentially, the cost of moving this one out and moving a new one in, moving two pianos, I don't know if that could end up being the same cost as moving this thing way down or. I, I just thought it's weird. Yeah, yeah, I swear. I, I, I highly doubt it. We, regardless, we're, we're moving that piano out. It wouldn't hurt to ask the person that takes care of it his opinion. Mm -hmm. Because he's the one that's refurbished it and taken care of it mm -hmm. and knows all about it. We're kind of novices in this aspect. Mm -hmm. It wouldn't hurt to ask. Well, well, yeah. My thinking is if it's moved upstairs because someone can do recitals yes. and move to the space. Yes. If we're trying to get more people or the club affair to do these things, well, it's like that. I think at least, yeah, it kind of needs to be there. Yes. Okay. I think so too. Yeah. Okay. I'm in agreement though. Yeah. Okay. I, I, again, so that it was let's just let's a, take that off the table. Well, right. And okay. Stop talking about it. Yeah, I'm sorry. Okay. Let's okay. okay. right. talk no. about it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay, we're moving on. Uh, item H Callahan House membership. Um, so there's a, a short blurb at the back of the packet here, just kind of outlining an initial um, framework for where we potentially want to take this. Um, so yeah, kind of it, what you discussed. Is this something, okay, 
Um, it's my mindset that this would be something that we would like to have in place prior to the to the um, club, affair. club yes. affair, so we have it in place so when people come in, this is an additional thing that we can sign up for. Mm -hmm. Yeah, makes sense. So this is an, an initial framework. So is this something that we should take home and digest and think about and add some thoughts on? On to this, um, and then we like that. Yeah, I mean, should I'll bring it back to you next month's meeting? Sure. Um, I think so. Yeah. I mean, it was in the packets so that hopefully it was generating some ideas to bring mm -hmm. today. But if we need more time to, is there a reason why we need to avoid using friends? Because the friends program already exists, and we we're decided that we don't want to set it up as a friends of program because that requires that we have an board. Who controls finances. I, I don't think it does require additional board. I think that the implication is there. So I think it's it's good if we do. You can call it whatever you want, but if we could the avoid city that framework, the is friends, set friends that are way. kind of a, a money thing. It, that, that's what it is. That's, that's what it exists for. That's the center. That's how it's set up yeah. through yeah. the city and currently. So we, we'd rather not see that term used. Decide. So now table is a different type of program. So let's get our thesauruses <laughs> right. and yeah. yeah. check out Start every stuff. word for friends. Right. <laughs> or support your students. Yeah. Right. Right. Thing Chat right. GPT. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That was they used it yesterday for what was it? mission and vision. The AI online. Yeah. Type something in and it comes up with stuff. <laughs> mission and vision parameters for recreation because we filter, filter, filter from trying to actually make decisions and then, but you throw it in there and it will spit something out that's more clever, more eloquent. Mm, yes. um, and then you just make little tweaks to that. Huh. Actually, it's, you did it work really well. Oh, that's which is, interesting. You know, which, which is actually yeah, yeah, it's much more eloquent than I am. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's really interesting. Um, yeah, I've been using that. Um, my husband surprised me with a um, Valentine's Day present of going to Ireland for two weeks, and I've been using that to help plan the trip. Yeah, it's, it's, wow. it's something else. Right? Yeah. So what I might ask if everyone would be willing to do is take a look out in um, to sourcing options as far as um, um, grants, and take a look and see what grant applications are asking for, like specifically. For example, for History of Colorado, they wanted to know what kind of community contribution um, um, the clubs um, were, were using and how provided through pen and paper. So, 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 so there are going to be some specific highlights that organizations who are granting funding are looking to support. Mm -hmm. Let's see if we can encompass as well, many it, of those as possible in our club affair. Uh, I'm talking about, about this club membership program because well, wait a minute, this is I'm not going to be a club this membership is not, program. This is not. This is like this basically is not what I'm thinking. Oh, donor club selection. Club, club, I'm sorry. This is club, I'm thinking club selection criteria. So I'm a little ahead of myself. Sorry, but I was thinking, yeah. Um, well, yeah, that's that's different. Thing. Is I'm, there any sorry. specific specific people that you want to? So you're saying you confuse the line item? Yes, I'm actually ahead of us. I was um, kind of okay. tying into club selection criteria, which is not this. This is this is this is, this is the yeah. supporters. Yeah, this is the membership program. We're going to give you more time. But it did make complete sense what you were saying that it the does. applications are looking for yeah. it did. a partnership that right. It's still valid. Yeah. Yeah. It's still my. <coughs> you have information <coughs> in regards to historic Colorado. Are you wanting us to take on somebody else, like? I think um, everyone should take an opportunity. I, I would look at SCFD something. really yeah. easily and quickly do that. So That's something I'm take, take a look around with. and see, look into something. Yeah. Um, and is there any, do we want to just all work on this and come back next month mm -hmm. with ideas? Yeah. Okay. So are we talking about the club selection criteria? Yeah, it's the Callahan. We're the looking at the over the the right. program. So the, the we we can find a couple of things, but yes, we, we moved it back to the Calhoun House membership program. 
Okay. And, and look for potential that organizations that would yes. yes. look for yes. potentials on how we should frame yes. this so we get more grant opportunities. But then we yeah, but we about the organizations, things. what is that? What specifically are we getting from other organizations? Well, there may be companies looking to help support. Okay, so looking for potential partners, friends, whatever, mm -hmm. in terms of companies, organizations, Could, yes. and what, what they're, they're looking for and what they're willing yes. to what they're right. Individuals, right. absolutely. They're individuals, companies. Because that is something you can put on the grant, future grant. Yeah. That the membership it all comes would together. Tie together right now. All right, so we're going to take this home and work on it. Um, yep. so. Work in progress. Work in progress. Okay, that's the end of old business. And then moving into new business. Oh, so you were. Oh, oh sorry. You that's the one you want to go on, Karen? Yeah. The, <laughs> the <laughs> Are you good? Team report. Team report. Yeah, the, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> that was your idea. It was the team report. It was the team report. Sorry. No, it's no. Okay. Um, <laughs> Yeah, it went really well. We had, so there were 36 tickets sold. We had 35 people in attendance, so one That's person great. that couldn't join. But yeah. Um, yeah, so everybody was from one to four this past Sunday, and Betsy was here to help with that, so I appreciated that. And we came great. and had tea and snacks. We had Shemaine's um, heavily discounts of food for us, so that was nice. much appreciated, so that we could, you know, still make some money on the event. Um, Shemaine. Shemaine's uh, Big Shop in Boulder, they were the, they had catered the, uh, not catered, but they provided the food for the board tea that we had last night. Which October. was really nice. Yeah, so that worked yeah. out well. How do you spell that? S-H-A-M-A-N-E-S. Um, and then we had crafting, Valentine crafting supplies upstairs, and I did like a little history of Valentine's Day in Europe and America. Oh, nice. and, uh, oh, very nice. Samples of collage Valentines and Everybody seemed to have a good time. I sent out a survey yesterday. I haven't heard anything back yet, but hopefully people will have favorable some good feedback. Feedback or constructive feedback or whatever. Else. And you, you, you just jumped. Uh, What's that? Were any photos taken of anything like we the Valentine? We got a few photos. Yeah, we were kind of um, running around in the beginning up until up until time, but we got I got some photos of the upstairs room full with people. Um, Making Valentines and a few people at tea and stuff. Nice. I'm going to include those in the next ones. Okay. Like, put something in there. Way to participate or, or jump at, anticipate what I was going to ask this. I said, what was the feedback on it? Because yes. it sounds See, very exciting. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, hopefully we get like I said, constructive or, and or positive feedback. It sounds lovely. Okay, now we're going to move on to new business. Um, the auto house briefing. Um, so yeah, that's just encompassing um, some potential storage for tables and chairs in the auto house, and also just a little bit of an update on I think the kitchenette and bathroom area could use a few things to be a little bit more updated. And well, I say it's updated, so but really it's like. Okay, making them period appropriate. Uh, well, okay, yeah, yeah. I was say, not looking not updated, like the, the, but you know, <laughs> renovate yeah. the yeah. yeah. renovate yeah. yeah. is better. Yeah, um, yeah. Could, could could we list it restore, as as restore um, or renovation rather than revamp? Yeah, well, revamp is there because it's not meant to be like a large overhaul, restoration, or um, yes. you know, if it's more oh, just like a few little things to and, and I, know, I hate, make it seem a little more um, period appropriate. Yeah, and and, and um, upscale for weddings. And, and I, I'm not sure when to bring this up, yeah. but this is part of the one of the things that we talked about when we were discussing the revamp is for storage for tables and chairs. Do we really want to be purchasing tables and chairs? Or do we want to continue the practice of not of renting the chairs and then we don't have to, to do the maintenance on that? And so, we still we still make revenue off of that because there's a well tables and chairs. We are, yes. We're trying to we're trying to go into industry standards yeah. and stick with 
do what other folks are doing so that when people are trying to compare place to place, option to option, mm -hmm. um, that they have a, reason, a fair comparison mm -hmm. and that shows us to be that way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we, we need to have that as part of our inclusion, it's just in terms of, like Zachary said, staying current with other venues, um, and also the revenue, the net revenue that we bring in from weddings would be significantly greater. Yeah. So then, then, then paying the, for the rental of the you know, that eventually it's going to catch up and it's going to yeah. pay for itself. I mean, they'll be so paid for by charging for the tables. It's included in the package. package. It's included. Okay. Right. So with the package price, mm -hmm. instead of you know eighteen hundred or two thousand dollars of that coming out from us to then pay the rental company, that's just going straight into net revenue. Rather than whatever the cost of the, the um, rental would normally be, and then adding the additional for um, maintenance of for profit, um, you're saying it would be better to purchase um, the materials and then have to store and maintain and replace than to go ahead and build it into the package, renting it without having to maintain and store and replace the materials. Yes, I mean, for net revenue purposes, yes. Because the maintenance of those is relatively simple. Um, catering can even help with the cleaning process as part of their setup and takedown. Um, and, you know, we can get the auto house rearranged a little bit um, between the upstairs and downstairs, the garden shed. There should be plenty of room for storage. And depending on what you purchase, there's really not that much maintenance to it. To no. Tables and chairs. No. And yes, with the idea that some, you know, will have to be replaced on the going. Habits. Usually it's, you know, maybe you have to maintain a couple chairs at a time over mm -hmm. the years, but um, they would be paid for just with June weddings. Mm -hmm. So. How much would it take up? How much space um, would it take up from the house, well, not the house, but the auto house, when we're hoping actually be able to show that and open it up more for open house events? And it's now yeah. sounding like so it's going to be Yeah, so I've moved so them, I've moved the auto house around to, now that the oven is out, um, to have the side space where the oven was is completely open. So that's just an open space right now. Um, so a storage unit could potentially go in there. Not everything has to be stored in there. A lot of venues have a garden shed type of a storage unit for tables. Um, so not everything has to be stored in the auto house, but potentially a period appropriate storage unit could be built in there to kind of close that stuff off so you don't see it. It's, and it's really, the ones I've seen are not unsightly and they don't take up that much space, really. I mean, we've been storing tables and chairs in there. So if anything, this would just help to I think elevated a little bit from what has has been going on in there. Yeah. Using it as the groom's cottage. Right. So well, it's also used for clubs. Which it has been in the past. Used for clubs. But we still can be still can. We were hoping that we yeah. could we could open it up for clubs. Still can. Honestly, it's I think I mean the fact that there are tables and chairs and a PA system all being stored in there now, having an actual storage unit where those can be tucked away is it's more appropriate than out. it is now. So, and again, not everything has to go in there with, we get the basement cleaned out and some of the gardening stuff can be stored down there, then potentially the tables could be stored in the garden shed and there's a I'm thinking we have a, a fair area for storage possibilities that's not being utilized. I, I understand that. I just under, I'm just thinking over the all, overall, is it a good weighty choice of, about, um, storing them and repairing it is it a, a long-term well for for effective cost for us that's that's one of the things yeah. and yeah. the one thing yeah. i have to consider i also why put else are doing that now rather than renting i i, I understand that and, but this also gives um the the bridal uh, parties uh, different options on how to do setups and whatnot i under, i understand that is that going to limit us in an aspect um, we would get the most popular industry standard choice 
at the moment, and then if you want to write something different, we're certainly welcome to do so. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. I, I think they've done their homework, and I think yeah. they know, know what they're talking about, so yeah. I'd say. Yeah. Okay. I mean, sounds good to me. Anybody else? Comment? One last question. Mm -hmm. um, does the city already own chairs and chairs that are used for different ceremony? Not that would be appropriate oh, for this. Okay, more of an industrial. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I think okay. That okay. I was just trying to get Yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. Yeah. I'm just trying to yeah. Yeah. cover all bases and make sure we're yeah. utilizing all the <laughs> resources we have. Yeah. 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 We have. That's a really good three, question. Three hundred chairs and tables at the memorial that are there that are not going to appear to this site. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Um, thank you again. And if, yep, we're moving on to club selection criteria or guidelines. Um, is that something that we can slide into club affair? No, it actually does it's something in separate. It's only separate. Okay. Um, and if it's all right, I, I would like to Yes, I'll, I would like to take that up. I'd like to lead um, that effort. And I do think um, it will be all of us contributing. Um, but it will likely be a separate meeting outside of our normal. I, I, I would be more than glad to help with the club selection criteria since I actually am on the club that is here. Um, yeah, I, I would love to be part of that, Karen. I, I don't want it again. Is there club selection criteria already? Mm -mm. Not, um, I think that's um, part. So we're not reinventing the wheel? We are, no, while we, we're, we're developing Tweaking the wheel, we're, we are developing one actually. We're developing a standard. I think it's, but it's going to be based So it doesn't on, look like there's any it's discrimination. It's going to be based on what has historically been done. Okay, that's what I was questioning too. Whether it's based, going to be based on historic, yes. historic, so, and what we have here in the house already. Yes. Right. So, so while there's nothing in writing, the objective is to put something in writing and it will very in line with what has historically been done for the house and um, what we need to be open to to ensure inclusivity so we are and that being said basically I'll talk just about everything we'll see the answer to that but the idea I think for the criteria is that we have clubs that we're looking for that we're hoping for but and I mean if we have that we're open to anybody that is interested in using the house in an appropriate way. Right. Yes. Yeah. And this will give us the club. chance maybe that not so maybe not. And I'm gonna say <laughs> when because I'm optimistic. When we have twenty clubs beating down the door saying they want to meet here and yeah. we only have room on the calendar for say another seven, then we have some kind of criteria to then begin to look at and say, Are these clubs really gonna be more in line with what we need to our proper community outreach and for for this house. I, I also think it, it helps. It, 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 and I'm sorry to interrupt anything. I apologize. Um, I think it helps in the sense that we have a standard form or standard information out there. So it looks like we're not being um, it's subjective. Subjective. Yeah. And the fact that there hasn't been one in place kind of opens us up for problems. I think it's important to have a policy in place, just like we were doing with the donation. Yeah, just like the donations that would be where you, your criteria might be things like the goals of the group, the club, you know, and um, yeah. how does the club support the community? How yeah. does the club? Yeah. It also helps with grant purposes. Then we can just say this is exactly what we're looking at. This yeah. is what we utilize. Yeah. And, and again, fall back on your grants because the grants give you some guidelines too. Yeah. That's exactly yeah. right. Yeah, and that's why if you can kind of keep that in mind as you're looking at companies and mm -hmm. at whom we want to partner with the house as being a partner, not friend, but a supporter of the house. Also, look at whatever grant 
um, opportunities that they are offering and, and see, well, is there anything in there that we need to pay attention to and include in the, when we're, when we're looking at a club, does the club fulfill anything in, in what their brand, um, kind of their, their ideal, you know, who they're going to give money to, uh, it's going to serve this purpose. So, so, okay, so we're going to let you guys flesh that out. Well, okay. I, it'll be, I think I'll lead it, but I yeah. think I'll go ahead and can we put this on for um, all business for next month mm -hmm. and we can then come up with a day that might be good for a, a meeting, okay. task meeting outside of board meeting. Okay. Yes. Um, I, I do think it's not like we're recreating the wheel at all. I think it's about clarifying the wheel and then cleaning it up and making sure that we're on point and the information's accurate and it's non-changing. And I'd like to see it happen before, like to see before the club yeah, yeah. It gets really absolutely. Yeah, solidified. Yeah, yeah, it has to happen. Yeah. Okay. Um, so we'll move that to old business for next time and yes. discuss so, yeah. a date yes. and get moving on that. Yeah. Okay. Uh, moving down to dates for open houses for 2024. So we've done one in April. Mm -hmm. um, yes, we did. Yeah. Well, at least you know, last year we did April. July and September for the um, art walk and then the holiday open houses. So I assume that oh, works well. The, this, this actually opens another can of worms of um, committee setup. We normally do that in in the uh, January meeting, and we didn't do that. We should set up for um, art walk, particularly for art walk. Okay. To make sure that we have that in place, so we're covering that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. To I think that would be a good fit. Well, when is the date for our walk? That's what we need to the decide. 14th. 14th. September 14th. Okay. Is really yeah, it is. So it's, you're saying we need to get our name in there? I think I think we need to get it set so we have it's working and, and we have people working on this. We've got, we definitely got the, the, the club affair and everything set and I think that's great, but I think um, normally what we do, um, one of the things that we had worked on is in January that any um, outside tasks needed to be set up in January, so it was set for the year, so we know. Okay. That was. Anne mentioned also that she has a divider she wanted to share with us. So yeah, I can get that from her when I get her signature for the yeah, that would be wonderful report. Yeah. Let me just um, talk to you about the schedule. Do you want to chair an art walk committee then, Maureen? I just want to double check on the dates. Um that I am good to go. Yeah. I'm in Ireland or something. <laughs> I'm concerned that actually my fall on my niece is by. Is this Saturday, correct? Correct. This is second Saturday in September. That's going to be a problem for me because it's my godfather. So well, I would I be think willing to help with it, but I, 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 and I could, you, you, I could share the committee. But the problem is, I'm concerned that that day I will not be able to. That's right. We just got it set up. We can so, make it run. So yeah, but can you the organize it? Can you like lead it? Yeah. Right so it's done in advance, and then yeah, the that day, day of, they come you don't set have up to be and, present. No, it's, okay. the rest of us we'll can be present. Up. And okay, work. I'd be more than glad to. This is one of those quirk things that who knew that that would be the day, but that's the day. But um, all the work is done in advance, so if, right. if you're okay with yeah, I'll be more than glad to to chair that then that for our walk. Cover your back. Thank you, ladies. Exactly. I appreciate it. And what time does that normally involve? Trying to think last year. It's afternoon. It was, yeah, it's afternoon. It's evening. Like, yeah, it's like four to three or four. Three or four, 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 four to seven. Four, yeah. four to eight, isn't it? Something so, like that? Yeah. Something like that. We can. It is yeah, really yeah. late. If it was, I was thinking it would be earlier than that, but yeah, it's, it's pretty late. That is late. Yeah. Hopefully, it'll be great weather, and we can. Then, do we already like know when the art walk is scheduled for spring? Then, because normally they set it in I advance. They've been only doing one. Yeah. 
for them. Yeah. But now that COVID's opened up, I wasn't sure if they're going to do a spring one. Oh, I, I haven't heard of that. I will look into that. Thank you. I used to do one in the spring and in the fall. Yeah, the spring one was smaller, but yeah. yeah but yeah. I'll, I'll find out. But then COVID hit and everything sure. like this, so. Yeah, we don't think we're in. So do we need to set the other open house dates? Yes. Yeah, so April, July. Yes, I apologize for getting set. Would we set the December ones yes. at this point? Yes, yes. please. I say for December we want to do the same thing, a regular right. decor and a Santa. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, these are usually on week nights. First Friday, I think. Or the December. like the the, the the April and July ones. I think I'm on week nights. Yeah, they yeah. they help. Um, yeah. I'll, sorry. Um, oh, that's fine. Later in April. I don't remember. Last year, I'm just giving mm -hmm. you an April from last year. We did a July 26th summer open house. Um, both of those had times from 4:30 to 6:30. And I remember they, we decided after one that it wasn't long enough. It was two hours, just, just too much, too, too short. So we got to keep that in mind for time. Then the next we did was the September 9th art walk, and then we had December 1st Santa and December 7th open house. So. So that was a Wednesday night. Yeah. Seems like, was that the one that we had like 17, 17 people? Yeah, yes. it was pretty. Yes. Yeah. Which yeah. Was I don't, and I think in part it was that it was not public size. Not as much not as, as, much as, as, much as, as normally would have been. Yeah. yeah. And so that's part of that's the, that's the a problem we've got to make sure we don't have it again this year. Um, so the last Wednesday in April will be the 24th this year. Do we want to do like a Thursday night or whatever? Thursday night is good too. I, mean, I don't know if that would be why don't we it, I'm we'll actually have be more better. people for some reason. Yeah, might, maybe we try that this year. Maybe we we'll go for Thursday yeah. night. It's worth a try. Yeah. Okay. So we'll we'll go day so April. Uh, is that going to be okay. over? April 25th is our spring, spring right? open house. No, I think spring break is early this year. It is early. It's, it's, early. it's, it's like the March. March. It feels, yeah. yeah, it's March. March. You're right. Yeah. 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 With art walk. So that's the one. Yeah. Do art walk. Could you help me do art walk, please? Could you help me do art walk? Yeah, sure. I will include the link. Do we want to just July? Do you want to stay with another Thursday? Or do you want to try a Wednesday just for kicks and giggles to see if there's a day of the week that tends to be better? Or it would be consistent to stay with a Thursday. Well, Thursday could be. The 25th is, is the same in July because that box Thursday. Yeah. The 25th of April, the 25th of July. Let's do that. Just to be, yeah. just to get people's minds better. And then the time for each of those, what should we plan for? So we find if the 4.30 was a good time slot or it was better for after work time? You know, 4 30 right. can work as long as we go later. I think it's gonna be like 4 30 to 7 30. Yeah, 4 30 to 7 30 or 4 30 to 8. Yeah. You know? Could um, I make a suggestion? Could we move it to 5? I mean, I, I, I think people come after work. They come after work if they're here. Most people work. So could we consider changing it to 5 to 7 30? Or is that what we're The only comment about that is it's. Supper time. Yeah, and I was gonna say children. It's and we might come before that. I don't know. Because like uh, we did hourly numbers for well, I don't think we did for April. Mm -hmm. We did for July. Because um, I remember that having this conversation. It was like, is four thirty better? Is five better? Right. Or, yeah. But maybe if it's four thirty to seven thirty, then that encompasses. It, it does yeah. open it up for. Kind of makes all that nice. That. Uh, yeah. Um, that hours isn't bad. Yeah. No, yeah. it's not four structure. It's not like. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. So that's the four thirty to seven thirty for each of those the spring and the summer open house. Okay. 
and the dates are sent through the 25th of April and the 25th of July. Okay, yeah. Um, yeah, okay, so we can do the same for the April one. Yeah, okay. So I'm, I'm sorry, I'm going to start to get that out so that it's the published. The April one's going to be in the brochure that's coming out. Great. Okay. That will help them a lot. And Christmas is already set? And then they'll also both be in constant so contact. So they didn't do it. Yeah, yeah. No, we haven't been in December yet. Sorry, yeah. I got discombobulated. Can we pause for a second? Oh, okay. it's just going in chronological order. So, so September 14th is Art Walk. Mm -hmm. And the time on that is going to be what time is it? Um, I think, I think normally we do set up at 3 and then we run until 8. Or set, or they got, yeah, yeah, so I three, two to nine is when I was so 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 they normally yeah, come in and around. they yeah. set up at we ask them to be here by three. The event starts, I believe, at four thirty. Four, 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 yeah, four, four to eight. Four hours. Hours. Yeah. I think it's four to eight. Four. Yeah, so yeah. three to nine would be would set up at the right time. Four to eight p.m. is the event. Correct. Yeah, eight and nine is clean up, set up and clean up. Mm -hmm. What time was it? Um, oh, sorry. No, no, that's okay. No, no, it's it's right on. So last year we did the, the, um, the open house one on a Thursday night. I guess it was December 7th. We did the Santa on the 1st, which was a Friday. Holiday lights will be on the 13th and 14th. Yeah, and okay. then, so we need to probably be consistent. We go with the, um, the 12th is the Thursday. 6th and the 12th. Mm -hmm. There's this, yeah. Friday is the 6th for Santa, and then the 12th for the open house is on Thursday. Okay. And we have some alterations in all our lines. Okay. But we've got all the days. Um, 3 30 to 8 for the Santa open house, so it must have been 4 to 7, I think. Four, I should even do 4 to 7.30. 7.30, I think, yeah. That's Santa. That's what we did last year, yeah. So that's we'll yeah. do the same. Yeah, 4 yeah. to 7.30. And so 6th and 12th? Mm -hmm. That's on the 6th. And we can set that's up the Santa as we get closer. So 4 to, four to 7.30 on the 6th. But then what do we want to do on the 12th? Because it was, it was the last thing we said 4 to 7. But yeah, something like that. Yeah. But we've all attended. Yeah, that one was really well attended. Well, I know it was well attended. I'm trying to remember. So it was, of course, not the lights, right? No, the twelve was yeah. Yeah. No, we did it on yeah. different yeah. night. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it was yeah. Yeah. So that people so don't have shoes. There's, there's shoes. nothing going on downtown on that. On that on the Thursday, the 12th. And we know how busy it was, that we don't, we would rather have that on something that right. absolutely yeah. is going on. Because it was mm -hmm. trying to create us. Trying to create Do we already know when the, the, Holiday parade and all of that. Yeah, 13th, yeah, that's what it was. 13th and 14th is all the holiday stuff. Um, so then, we so should, are we going to make so it? So the open house on the 12th should be. Hi, that's what I said. 4.30 to 7.30 again. 4.30 yeah. to 7.30, same. Yeah, it's 4 to 7.30. 4 to 7.30. Of course, it gets dark. Santa is. But so yeah, you yeah, may yeah. want to even start, well. A little earlier, is that? Maybe 4 earlier. It seems like little kids. It seems like the families with little kids came earlier. Yeah, yeah they did. Yeah. That that has to do though with how long um, Santa Santa can come. schedule. Right. Yeah. yeah. Right. Well, that the same thing like how we're just last guess. year, but do we want decor to be the same as Santa or or the same as we did last year? So I think I think we did the same as last year. We, it was really it well was attended. Four, so it was. Fun. Yeah. It's well, just that. advertised from four to whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Because the lady that, that Sandy and I ran into had a yeah, it brochure was, with it that said 8 o'clock. Yeah, we were walking out in all the connection with the Yeah, we said Yeah, right now, the house was 4 to 7 last year. 4 to 7. But, and, 
And so are we staying with that, four to seven? I think we should stick with that. Okay. I, I disagree. I think we should stick with our standard times of every open house. We just do it from 4.30 to 7.30 and, and, and call it good. That kind of makes that feel right to me. So else? The, the, Always 4.30 to 7.30? Yeah, I think we keep it standard. So if you said art walk will be different. Art, right. art walk's the only one that's going to be different. Okay. But Santa is it's a different it's a different event it's entirely. Sense, it's not actually but it seems to me if we right. have an open house we should keep it a standard time right. so all our open houses are yeah okay instead of jumping around yeah yeah i just think it makes more sense it's happening sorry that's okay no it's it makes sense everything's 4.30 to 7.30 except the walk which is 4 to 8. Yeah, it's not a it's it's not it's a and it's it's a it's a it's a reservation. Santa, reservation Santa, 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 Santa is four to seven thirty. Yeah. So All open houses are four thirty to seven thirty. Art walk is okay. And I think we did jump ahead. We should go back to November and we should schedule when we're decorating. Um ready? <laughs> Unfortunately, <laughs> ladies, I know, I know, I know, I know. my schedule gets booked up really quick, and if I don't have it on, so now we're looking at November. We're going back to November, and I apologize. We can maybe schedule something kind of tentative, but yeah, that's what I'm Plus saying. Let's in November. In. We're also looking at um, we have an artist that wants to do a like holiday market. Here which, in November. which, if we need to so. shift it, we can, but let's get a tentative date on the calendar. Okay. Please. Well, when's Thanksgiving this year? The 28th. Oh, gosh, it's late. Yeah, it's, it, wow. that's part of the reason I'm like, oh, gosh, guys, it's really huh. going to be weird. Well, it, the, the, does it need to be done before Thanksgiving? Or? I think this year we were a little yeah. late, weren't we? I think, yeah, I think we might want to look more at like uh, late October be too early. I was going to say, we used to decorate early, over I think, in October. Yeah, well, <laughs> in October. Mean, they yeah. want to do a holiday market so nice out. early in November. Oh. And we might need it done a little bit earlier. If, if that's the case, if if decorating earlier gets us more events in here, I'm good for that. I'm, it doesn't matter. We're going to uh, do it. Okay, let me see what she's looking at here. Uh, they're wanting to have the market on the 3rd and the 10th oh, of November. November. Oh. And it's like a holiday market, so we oh, need okay. to So if that was just decorated, it would be appropriate. Mm -hmm. So like, yeah, late October. If we want to do October, okay. Yeah, I don't want to do it too early because then we're going to have stuff in October. So, yeah. like, that we don't want. Yeah, we don't want to get to the first. Yeah. The so, yeah, like maybe the week of November 8th at some point. Could we do so, November 1st? Well, what about November 1st? Sure. Today, yeah. that Friday. Yeah. We could just come fine. during the day and do it. Yeah. Get it done. It would feel weird to do it on that one. It would feel weird. It would feel really weird. It's just weird. Yeah, well, and it also eliminates us from having being part of an open house for, you know, the haunted We'll just house. have to, it'll have to be like complete that day. Because mm -hmm. we won't have any time to nope. like, oh, we'll finish these last few things. Right. But, yeah, um, we could complete it on the first. Okay. I think if all of us get here and do it, we, we can do it. We can do it. Well, if we have a plan ahead of time, it's not down. Yeah. Right. Too. Yeah. We get boxes and it's not after, like, after this last well. year, we were like, Trying to do the luncheon and right. Oh no, it was just too much. So, yeah. Well, we'll just, so what? Nine a.m. Yeah. Yeah. The whenever. Yep. When we get done. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
uh, are doing that. Oh, are doing yeah, that. I still, so I, I did, talked with Fire, I talked with Amy, and um, she was comfortable with where we were at with, with how we had it done, but it's a continuation from the previous one. But she recommended that we get the go ahead and get the companies, whoever the company service people in the area yeah. are, to just come and take a look, and which is fine. I'm yeah. glad to do that. But you've been you've been working. Well, yeah, so I did I did actually hear back. So okay. there, I just am waiting for the tech to call and make the appointment. But they yeah. have received the order, they pushed it through their system, and so we're just waiting to get the, so we'll have get the phone them. call to set an yeah. appointment. I do have to state, I am very disappointed in the oven that was purchased. I think it was poorly done. Um, the fact that those burners are going to be on all the time, the fact that it is a gas oven and it only had one rack in it. It was previously a gas oven. Um, is it no longer a gas oven? No, no I'm it saying like, what well, gas oven? Was, was, I know it was previously a gas <laughs> oven, but I I just think like to like it really isn't like to like because the gas the, the the old oven was a better oven than this one. It is my it is two years ago, so. and I understand that. But I think in, in for future, if we replace that item, we should have a much better um, conversation about it because it would have been better if we had a, a, a um, an electric oven in a gas range and the fact that the burners are going to be on all the time it increases our the heating it, air conditioning it increases it, it's just was poorly done in moving forward i understand that we can't afford to replace that oven currently and i also stand understand that we um had a um, issue with the installation and having the whole thing. It's truthfully, it's been a nightmare about that whole thing. I just wish the board had had more input on the choosing of the piece in the first place. Because it just. So with what we have, here's a question. I would love to go to an induction instead mm -hmm. and just not have gas at all. Yeah. Do the burners have to remain lit or can they just be lit when it's time to be using them? Um, we can ask the company, but it would be, It'd be for me, it would, would be, it would be, uh, you have to have, think is, yeah, you probably have to have a professional do that to turn it. Because, because of a safety one. issue. It's set up as a commercial, as a commercial mm -hmm. oven, and that is, because food is made here, it was bought as a commercial oven, and I, I know you understand all this stuff, but, um, and I'm not, I'm not going to sit here and defend that, because mm -hmm. um, I, I agree. It's what we got, so we'll just make sure that it's working properly within the house. Right. Yes. I, uh, yes. I understand. Yes. What we have, right. making sure it's safe, yep. making sure yep. it's properly cleaned, because burners are not sealed. So I guess there's a process to make sure that it's properly cleaned so we don't need to push a fire due to drippings and whatever. That's something to think about, just dealing with what we have, being aware of it. How do we properly clean it? Um, what about the hood? Is the hood, has it been cleaned? What's the maintenance the on the hood? Cleaned? The hood will, um, we can get somebody out to check on it. Yeah. it. The hood looks clean. It looks, it looks like clean, but I, I just I think that this and is... And it's used so infrequently. I agree. That, but I get your, it's, it should be checked annually. That's, that's, that's exactly, it. I'd like to have it put on the maintenance list yeah. of something that's done, because that's where most fires start. And for future reference and, and, and replacement of, um, say for refrigerators or any of the equipment in the house, I, I would like that to be a board item that's looked at and that we're included on. I understand. The cleaning of the hood? Not the cleaning of the hood, but the fact the purchase of any appliances that are going to be put in the house, I'd like to be included on. I think it's important. We, I mean, I have experience I mean, in, in this, and maybe not all board members do, but I think we have interest in what's going to be best for the house. Mm -hmm. And having that's part of the reason why we're here as a board to be an input board. And if we're excluded, it kind of circumvents what we're doing. I, I just think that that if if certain appliances don't need to be replaced and we're just replacing them to replace them, I question the the that will need the sound plot. I, yeah, but even in the process but, of if something has to be replaced, it's a good idea. You know, many man, many minds yeah. come up with that. You know, yeah. hey, think about and, this, and think see about it. the so, bouncing off mm -hmm. the ideas and the fact. I understand the purchase has been made. 
I understand we are kind of stuck with it. I'm not happy with it. I, I, I just think it was a poor purchase. And it Prior was to your like I said, two years ago, yeah, two years ago, and, 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 this whole time, so. and, and I understand that, and it has nothing that you can do or change it. But at a certain point, it will need to be replaced again. I just would like it to be included in the board discussion. Yes, hey right, Karen, since we're dealing with what we have, fire extinguishers. How many do we have in the kitchen? I think we should have two, maybe even have one. I mean, the safety committee comes and makes sure that we're up to par on all of that. They just did a check recently, but I, mean, I, I, I think safety-wise, where, where it is and or where they are. If there's a problem, we need to get it out quick. Karen, I think we are actually doing that by doing part of the inventory and looking at the inventory and then seeing where the fire things are. And I, Brittany's really on top of making sure that that um, the, um, the first aid kits and all of those are, are up to date and, and whatnot. That's not really my point. My point is I just wish, not wish, I I, I um, am requesting that we as a board be included in some of these decisions. That's it. And it's, again, the city will make a decision on what they choose to do, but I would like to have our input included rather than say. Thank you. Noted. Anything else on the oven? Okay, we're going to move to lace window balances and library trays. I sat there at my desk going, I don't even know what they look like. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, exactly. But I the drapes, I'm like, what? Yeah, so, so in doing the inventory, it reminded me, and it was Candy's idea, which is fabulous, that we need to get rid of the top so that people can see the beautiful windows. Okay. Have them restored and this so beautiful protective glass outside of them, mm -hmm. and they make this gorgeous stainless steel. Which way, but heavy so, ones? In the yeah, yes, that's library. In the library, in the library. Yeah. that's yeah. So, library. so removing all of the top lace things will allow you know all of the beauty of that right. window to be seen. And well, you can see it from outside, but you can't see it from inside. Right. And it's okay that we have these bottom. Yeah, they're, they're, they're privacy. Yeah, that's fine. But then also, yes, in the library, the drapes are really heavy. And what we could do is um, scale them back. So it would take you know, maybe one and then pretty much cutting a lot of it out, but kind of recreating it so that it, instead of being more like a real true drape, it's more like a little bit of a border. Um, decor that, then kind of accents and it's like look at this so many concerns sun color. exposure on that's that that's end. that's what i was going to ask what about sun yeah, yeah. changes from the sun i i do yeah. agree about the top balances and um do yeah, you do you close the library the sky, but you close the library mm -hmm. drinks yeah they're never closed anyway no so it would be more of a some um, it's aesthetic really. yeah it's mm -hmm. really not going to make any change uh, other than open up from the inside to be able to see. And that was your suggestion that we remove the, the lace so we can see the windows? How many rooms have the lace balance? I think everything, oh, has, everything, room, everything that has. Yeah, but I'm just, it's not just dining room and, and, and these no, are music room, it's no, other rooms too. No, yes. it's that simple. It's not going to cost And we can open up the library mm -hmm. curtains, you know, I mean, they can be slit open more too but you know, they just try that i was going to say i mean that's or i think is that too much material but it's going to be just to leave that well, yeah, to see how they do <coughs> we do want some sun yeah. protection yeah um, because we they certainly don't sun exposure they are mm -hmm. yeah. so. well i move that we consider the removal of some of the balances or the top curtains in the rooms based on the whether we need sun protection or not, to expose the stained glass windows so we can see more of them. Also, um, discussion? My question is, is the use of the, of the word consider. I want to do it. Yeah, me too. Well, Considering I, I would ask. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> we also need to consider what in I, I don't want to be in, I don't on. want staff to be in conflict with a decision that you guys have made here when in the end, it's our decision, so I, mm -hmm. in, in, 
I would rather that decision be in a month after she has a little bit more time to go okay. to make sure we're able to take protection and stuff like that. that I think sense. we're totally on board mm -hmm. for sure. Yeah. But let's make sure because I, I mean, I'm with you 100%. But even with the old ones, basically we had shaded windows, for lack of a better term. And oh, now they're nice. bright and shiny, you know, and everything uh -huh. is clean. So that means more sun. And, so, and what damage is that going to do the carpets yeah. and other things? And and so I just I want to dig into it a little bit more on our end. Okay. So table it for a month and let let's do that. But I think we're on board and we may even just take something out. That's so your motion to consider consider yeah. still would be separate. Yeah. Yeah. Question about the uh, tempered glass about the exterior glass. Is it non white? It's not tinted. No, not tinted. No, but not tinted. It's not tinted. I don't think it's UV or anything. UV is what I was getting. Yeah, that's at. because it's so. Is that it is that a glue? Is that a possibility? I don't know if they can apply it to the exterior of the glass or if they have to be <laughs> done on the interior of the glass. I don't know enough about that. But that's something yeah. that could protect. Yes. Um, and it, it's clear. I, it doesn't have yeah. to be tinted. Mm. So we do need to discuss this further. Yeah, I, th that's an, I think it's another round that we would want to see where we're going here. And also, we haven't even gone into a season with the sun coming in. Sun. Like it does, right. you know, exactly. so, since it is August, end of August, and the sun's already pretty high. But, right. but, but down low. couldn't we at least consider or consider removing the ones that um, I would take this one down today. Yeah, on, yeah, the, sure. north, <laughs> on, on the northern so, windows, yeah, that we do not have the sun I, injection. Yeah, I, that's what I said. Let, we're on board, so okay. we'll just we'll just start, we'll just that. start doing it. So to completely table yeah, this let's discussion. Let's table this discussion, and in the meantime, we find out that you're good to go. Let's just yeah, then we'll we'll just start right. doing it because everybody's on board. Right. Yeah. Make any kind of okay. Yeah. Is that okay with everybody? Yep. Yes. Okay. I don't know if there's any question and then that it's not going to be okay and that there needs to be more protection and that it can't happen with the glass on the exterior. And then could it be that for events that the top bar could be made so that it is uh, easily removed? Easily removed. Yeah, a little spring loaded something so that it's awesome. easy for events. We can just take that down, tuck it away, and then have the event. Those are all the Again, I'm also pop that back up as needed. Could concern yeah. about staff time. It's a lot of time. But it's just that we're trying to get a ready for right? Well, there's yeah, else but anyway, so okay. Okay. Some thoughts. Well, we'll just talk about it. Yeah. 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 Okay, moving on from old from new business. Items from staff. Yeah. Um the grass, what did we leave that with Brian? I think we were having to push that off with the pressure they, they're seeing with the grass. Not good, right? right? Until fall was kind right, of, but I thought that's what we did. I haven't, I haven't heard anything about it other than well, what, to see what the So we had wanted to work on the grass this spring. Right. And right. we have a plan with golf. Well, Twin Peaks is having their irrigation replaced. Oh, of course. that's big. Which is, that's huge. It's, it's something else. <laughs> so I, I'm... Not. Really concerned about our his their being able to commit the time because that's obviously a huge priority. And they've got to regrow grass because that's been while it's done very neatly, it still leaves a mess. And so I think we'll probably be pushing that off till trying for the fall growing season on that. Okay. Which we'll see. We'll see. I, I we're on board. He's on board. We got we got a plan. I thought that's what he said. So, um, I I hope. I understand what you're saying, and I understand the logistics, but I also cons am concerned that the gardens look for the best, particularly if we're considering doing a video um, that we can achieve uh, the best that we can. Strictly so, talking about grass. Yeah, I know. So, yeah, I, it, it affects everything. I understand. I am just disappointed. We could take it. Well, we'll. Yeah, do the best you can. I understand that. Progress. Thank you for the information. Yeah. Okay. At least we know where we stand. I'm just, I'm just not sure, and and it's always not sure with the weather and stuff. It's it's just it is what it is. Well, and those guys just, have 
Yeah. Okay. Okay. Are there any items from the board? Uh, I have some staff items. Oh, okay. yeah, staff items. Sorry. Or um, you should scoot back up. This is yeah. <laughs> Sorry. You're, you're staff, okay. so it's a... Yeah. Oops. Um, just, I, I think everybody kind of... Yeah. Saw. I, I did want to come on that. Congratulations yeah. on that. That was fabulous. Great. Yeah, they did a good job. Um, and there's nothing wrong with this light. We just need to put the bulb put back in. Uh, and then the entryway also where the exposed, um, or the, where the phone came off. And so they had to patch that and they did a paint job. It looks pretty flawless. So. I, I, I was going to compliment you. you, you it, you're just ahead of me because the board comments are after. <laughs> but, yeah. but yeah, congratulations. Yeah, it looks yeah finally. That's great. Very well, well done. It looks very really um, good. They're still trying to figure out a plan for the upstairs. Um, light sconce in the oh, yeah in the yeah. room but, yeah. so. but it's on the and there are some um you know some of the little wood chips and things like that have been replaced also so Brittany congratulations okay. and thank you for all your hard work that well was I, it was empire but but still but thank still. you got it you got it arranged you got it, you got it done, done. you got it done yeah. got it done that's huge okay um, and then the other update I have is um, we're currently in the process of a deep cleaning that's been going on. It's done, the city is doing it. Um, every Saturday in February, someone's been here doing the deep cleaning of the house, um, which is really great. And we met with them, you know, a couple weeks ago before the project started to go through everything. And um, we were excited about the work that they're doing. And then moving forward, custodial is going to be here on a bi-weekly basis instead of just weekly. So excited to just kind of like have the deep cleaning done as a reset and then have somebody here twice a week um, doing the general cleaning and keeping up on all that. So yeah. question we on, uh, on the, I'm sorry. We were approved for, I think it was three new custodians citywide. And oh, wow. we had to add in a, a custodial manager last year, which I have mixed feelings about um, as far as control of that system. But um, in the big picture, more custodians is good, and so um, it's allowing me some flexibility. Cool. Um, question: Any concerns that has been raised by the deep clean of anything that so we need to be taking care of or considering on? No, but I don't imagine that that would probably be the case. I mean, this person's not looking for you just never know. damage or things like that. But if something comes up, we'll certainly address it. Okay. So they're kind of starting from the top down. Yep. Um, Kennard passed away <clears throat> February 5th, and she was the wife of Dennis Combs, who was our mayor. Um, Kristen was invited to be, um, as the mayor's wife, a part of um, the board when mm -hmm. he served. Right. And she said, well, sure, I'll be on the board, but do I have voting rights? And he said, no, because you're the mayor's wife. You're just a token person here. And she said, well then I'm not going to do it. I'm going to run for the board. <laughs> so she interviewed for the board and served on the board. I don't know how many years, but anyway, she was a very sweet person. And so I um, just wanted you guys to know that okay. she passed away. And if it's okay, I will take one of the Callahan House cards that we have and write a note yeah. to her husband from us as support. I, I think yeah, that's yeah. a wonderful idea. And honestly, I was going to suggest that. In addition to that, I would like to do a congratulations um, card um, for the baby as well from the board. I can get you cards as soon as you want. Okay. Okay. We'll do that. The yeah. baby board or secretary or. Well, yeah. I'll, I'm going to do that. Would, would you do a, a, um, a, a card um, from the board um, for the new baby? The secretary or whoever wants to do, do it. Okay, that would be wonderful. Thank you. Karen, you're doing it? Yes. My hand raised. Right. <clears throat> and then the other thing I wanted to share, um, you had mentioned about wanting to do the upstairs tree for Santa Claus when the kids come with golden books in. I have golden books and I have more at home. So anyway, wow. these will, wow. I, I'm going to, I don't know, I'm going to keep them at home. Oh, okay. But I will yeah. bring these books and we can decorate the upstairs tree okay. with golden books. And then keep an eye out, please. 
at flea markets and secondhand stores and things like that for these little characters. Hi. Oh, and then we can use oh, these. These are Sarah's. So Her great grandma yeah. made them. But yeah. anyway, this would be kind of fun to decorate the tree then with. That would like be that. wonderful. Yeah, and I did pick up some ornaments last year actually from Target that had that were book themed that were um, had the Little Red Riding Hood, and um, oh gosh, now I'm blunking on, on the various different themes, but that are felt like that, and I would like to dedicate a place to the house. Cool. Right. So we can make anything that needs to be dried needs to go through the, the process that we've created. So it yeah. should be uh -huh. voted on, but yeah. you know, perfect. So are you donating the books too, or that comes and no. goes? That it could just be a loan. Just a loan. She'll just okay. bring them. Just a loan. And, and, and the loan. same with the. What's I'm going to give you to add to whenever you go way up to the attic? Okay. Just something we can use. They're glass red ornaments. Okay. They could be used somewhere. I, I've been looking online and stuff and trying to look at things that are deep discount at it as well. So is. Is there anything particularly for the trays that we're thinking we're going to need? I don't think so. We have, you know, any extra items that we didn't use this year, so I don't want to overload necessarily on all the <laughs> items, but um, if there's something that is very appropriate that makes sense for historical aspect of sharing Christmas during the era of the house. Um, yeah. Well, we'll yeah. do an inventory. We did find more Christmas items that were down in the basement. pile that's set aside is items that we're considering donating okay so okay i wasn't yeah. sure so i don't want to miss like i said overload with with holiday decor yeah. but if there are things that are appropriate to to add that are you know i, I did want to bring, bring up from the board um when when i was downstairs doing inventory i did notice that we have a fair chunk of um, damage from um i believe ants um, on the doorways, and I did point that out to you. Mm -hmm. um, so that needs to be included in our um, repair list. Okay. Maintenance. Maintenance. Repair. I'm concerned on how thorough those little working ants have been um, going through the door frames down in the basement. And if we have an issue with that, we need to get ahead of it. Mm -hmm. There was a fair chunk of little crumbles down below where they've been eating the the wood and um, if we need to, I don't know, do mitigation mm -hmm. or um, it doesn't look like, I think they're ants. There's some sort of critter that's eating. Yeah. yeah, but it's going through similar okay. to to a termite, but yeah. um, <clears throat> I'm concerned. Here. Okay. Yeah, well, yeah. somebody come take a look. Karen had a couple of items. Well, the one was same thing about Kristen Cunard because I didn't serve them until they kind of came up and understood so but um the other was I wanted to ask you all if you would like to have a little snippet of history um or two one or two pieces of snippets of history about the house of the Callahans um shared with you at every board meeting it just it came to me that you know there were things and Cindy even mentioned she's like oh, what I didn't know about that when after the PEO mm -hmm. presentation. And I just thought, you know, this is something that could be a good opportunity to share a short little snippet about history about the Callahan's if you're interested in hearing something. Absolutely. I would be, I think that's great because the more we learn, the better we're going to be at serving them going Yeah, let's yeah. just add that to our agenda. So you want to share one little thing with you right now, which is kind it of. It can just be on items from board. Yeah, I don't have to record it. Yeah, it's just, yeah, it's just yeah. it's, I think I've been very proud It's for historians, they say. So, so um, there's an interesting fact about the second floor apartment um, that they lived in above the house when the, the Callahans lived there. Um, on October 1895, little 19 month old Raymond fell from one of the second story windows onto the stone walk. It was a vertical oh. drop of 18 feet. And the Callahan's quickly called a doctor who found that Raymond's injuries were limited to painful bruises. What? Wow. Okay. Yeah, still fine intervention. But yeah. basically, that accident is what prompted them to begin looking for a house. Oh, wow. That and then their um, intent to begin to 
your team at a growing circle of friends. That that one was the scare that we're like, oh, we can't live above the the store anymore. Wow. So, so this was too. above their business downtown. Yes. Um, Do you have the address of that business? Yes. Well, it was in the three hundred block of Main Street. Yeah. I have the picture. We and were, that's the one that I had held up and, and did not include in in the, the at the end, but. But I can certain and PEO presentation. But I can certainly share that with. with our I wonder if downtown has one of those. Um, it has the golden rule little on things out in front of it with the history that you can snap your phone and <coughs> PR. Yeah, and what is QR, it? QR, QR code. QR code. You know, I remember we did the QR codes during an art walk many years ago, and that was our intent. And that's why we did spend a lot of time. Do you remember that? Oh, going over to the right. But the city did follow through with that. dates and times, and I think yes. But does the QR, do they have QR codes on downtown? all of the buildings downtown? Yeah. All of the yeah. 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 The, no, the, the between the third and fourth block I know they have of Main Street, they do. Historic marker. Oh, sites. Okay. Right out in front of the buildings on the sidewalk. Oh, and you can just yeah. click it and picture oh, that's and tell you about the buildings. It would be on the west side of Main Street. It was on the west side. Would that be something that we could include in um, our little snippet that goes out um, monthly from the Callahan House to be sure to go and look at the downtown where the building was and their QR code? Would that be something that we could That was, use? yeah, the constant contact. If yeah. anybody wants to create content for that, it's always open, so. I would put the, 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 the that? historical thing in there. It's yeah, kind of interesting. Yeah. Yeah. It's cool. That's what I'm thinking. It generates yeah. interest. Yeah. yeah. Generates interest. And, like, mm -hmm. and then you. we could put the address and yeah, that'd be great. But what's the uh, mailing that it goes in? Or Constant yeah. contact. Constant contact. Okay. It's an email that comes out every yeah. Thursday. Yeah. Okay. So that'd be great. Yeah. So that was the idea was that I'm putting together content for events and things like that. But if there are snippets or historical pieces of information, then you all can create the content and submit it. And the content's already been created by Karen Sherry with the board, then that could be taken care of. Mm -hmm. That'd be great for us. see that piece of information. Yeah. Yeah, but if you want to submit yeah. something with a photo or, you know, written digital content, that would help me a little bit in there. Okay, we're moving on to future agenda items that are not listed. Does anything need to get added? When do we review for the next restoration preservation project? Not that we're doing it right away, <laughs> <laughs> but when do we need to review that list that's that's created and, we'll and see, identify it and say? But when do we need to take a look and say, you know what? You know, okay, we might this one we probably need to put in for CIP. Know, if you're the capital improvement coach. So, but so this one we could do. Budgetarily, budget requests um, for capital items, we start putting those in at the end of March. Okay. So if we have any oh, ideas wow. on things. Now again, right now we have the, the brick point okay. in there, mm -hmm. um, which is a big one. Yes. But if we want to back it up with something else, right now, um, Harold's very, he's not big on new things going in until some things are able to done however that doesn't mean you can't try so okay. at least a dance so that that's the timeline um, could so. we consider then in next month's meeting yeah. the, the list time. and we can then mm -hmm. say identify the one that is like our next on the wish sure. list so yeah. to speak so we can say here's our first one we would probably say but if the city can't do that one maybe this one and it might be a lesser I don't know. That's not usually how that works, but um, I mean, we have other small things. We have other funding opportunities in PD one forty five, but that's a that's a five year out. But we have some flexibility with that as she's starting to learn on on how we do things. So if it's if things that are in the one thousand to to ten thousand dollar range, or, or things we can consider in a different way, but I, I would say now would be the time to consider anything because if we want to try to put it into CIP then that that I'll be doing that in April so. okay well could we could we put it as a discussion item um, on the agenda so we have a better understanding 
and maybe <coughs> then we look at projects differently and we can say, okay, we're gonna look at budgeting it here. So we as a board have a better understanding how the, the city is approaching us. Yeah, if you want to throw some budget in, I will be glad to talk about that next time. And, and we can also, that idea is that we're in a mode where if we already have ideas right there. I have to, I'm sorry, I got a two meeting in there. We'll be redoing exactly. Roosevelt in a way, the park. So what? Well, I don't know. Well, not, don't think so big. Don't think okay. so big. Okay. Don't okay. Like, uh, think some rose garden area, some playground area, stuff like that. I was going to say yeah. the giraffe barns going? Not the, <laughs> not the big, not big stuff, but nevertheless, I want to make sure I'm involved in that because that can go sideways on me. Thanks. Thank you, Ben. Okay, so can we add to the new business for March? Mm -hmm. uh, reviewing the um, maintenance renovation list uh -huh. and, maybe and identify a, some second wish. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Identify um, your new kind of like some short item short. that might item or two that might be that. And what then, our priority looks yeah. like next. Because if, if, if we're asked for if we're asking for the moon and they're just not going to give it to us for another five years, why don't we ask for a star? You're right. Okay. Yeah. And, and one star, no, one star a year, we're making right. progress. And the other thing is that we do have funds in the Callahan House yes, fund, eighty-five thousand. There's mm -hmm. so there's there's funds that can be if used for restoring the you know the chairs, replacing the leather on the chairs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's actually so. This project, um, the. Uh, questers, oh, all cool. chapters of questers are interested in coming together to donate some money. For us. Oh, oh, nice. Nice. So yeah, we just need to get a quote it, for it. It's considered that we're actually looking at it as a state project that we might consider redoing this. Mm -hmm. nice. So, yeah. but but the point is, outside of CIP and PD one forty five, there is other money available for things that need to be done. Yeah, and that's why we have. So we have it's list. why we have the list. It's also why we have the fund. It's why we're promoting people to donate to the fund mm -hmm. to continue to maintain and restore. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I'd like us to not get okay. We did this massive restoration. That's massive. Yeah. We don't need to do anything for another year. No, no. Yeah. We need to keep on. Top What's of one more at least little thing that we can get done and yeah. accomplished and showing that we're continuing to use this fund and, yeah. and continue to um, restore. Okay. Thank you, Kayla. Anything else? Okay, moving to adjournment. Moving to adjournment. It's 10.56. 10.56. <laughs> All those in favor? Aye. Anybody object? <laughs>